everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. Today I am revealing to you my new pearl cell recipe. It is literally three ingredients. I'm so excited. I actually stumbled on this recipe because I've been having some chats with Tiffany Bergeron with the Willie B Studios, awesome artist. And um, I've been trying to do these cloud pours and you know, I've never done them. And so I was using her recipe to try them. And I, this is the day that I tried them and it was a terrible pour. I, my pour had the measles because I didn't wait long enough before I poured using these uh, thicker paints. So I thinned them down. I, t I took and set some aside, but then I thinned a bunch of them down to see what would happen if they would create pearls. Um, because I feel like somewhere along the line, I have seen like maybe Fiona from Fiona Art. Maybe she's made pearls of some sort with um, this pearl medium. I just know that she uses it a lot and I feel like I remember somewhere along the line um, something about it, but, um, so I, I decided to thin it all down and see what would happen. And this happened, like it exploded in pearls. So I was really, really excited when I saw what was happening. Uh, and I wanted to see how the Dutch pour part would react with this, um, this base. Uh, so I did a Dutch pour over top and it kind of got eaten by the pearls, which would have been fine. I, and I feel like I should have just left it as is, but I was just tweaking and I was seeing areas that I didn't really love. So I decided that I would re-pour this Dutch pour part, which is fine. I mean, it turned out beautiful. Uh, the Dutch pour part and the colors are gorgeous. Those TLPs, the Grenache and the Sockeye, along with those Amsterdam colors really turned out pretty. So I'm super excited that um, I did this color combo because I think I'm gonna try it again in another pour. But yeah, I really liked it. But yeah, it, it kind of got my gears turning as far as how could I, what could I do to tweak the the recipe uh, to what I like. So this recipe was one part uh, Amster, or no, Artist Loft, soft body, two to three parts um, US Floetrol, and one part of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And like I said, it's super pretty. Like this turned out great, uh, but in the dry results, you're, you'll see why I was not a fan. Those, the area, you see there, there's a large area that was like almost like an outlining of these pearls. I wasn't a super fan of that. And then the area within the Dutch pour where the pearls started popping through, they were fuzzy and kind of yucky looking. And you'll see that in the dried results. So stick around to the end to see that. But yeah, I was not a super fan of how that turned out. So I started thinking like in my recipe now to slow down reaction of the apple barrel and the artist loft paints, I use the Liquitex titanium white. So I decided I would completely eliminate the Artist Loft, just try that Liquitex Titanium White. And here it is, this is the recipe. Literally two to three parts US Floetrol, one part Vallejo Pearl Medium, and one part Liquitex Titanium White. And it turned out so, so good. So you'll see that in the um, dried results. But it basically what it does is when you see me tilting, in the first one you see the reaction of that Artist Loft soft body is so fast and the pearls start popping through right away. Whereas in this, I was able to tilt in all directions before the pearls start popping through. And so I don't end up with wonky pearls, which I'm not a fan of wonky pearls if you watch me. 
also, when I torched, I was so excited because it caused these other pearls to pop through, which I've never had before with other pearl cell recipes. So I thought that was super cool. cool. So this is a technique that I will be teaching. Uh, this is the recipe that I'll be using at Fluid Art Experience. Uh, so if you guys are interested in heading to Seattle for the Fluid Art Experience, uh, or August, no, <laughs> sorry, April 27th through 29th, uh, I will be using this recipe in my classes it's so easy. It's so much easier than the other pearl cell recipes. I mean, I, I've been a big fan of the other recipes because I love the results of them, but it's a lot of ingredients. And not to say that I'll never use that those recipes again, because I feel like there will be applications where I will need to use them. But I this pearl the pearls on this just turned out so gorgeous with so few um, ingredients that I think that this might be my new favorite so I hope you guys like this uh, this I I actually was playing around with some thicker paints in my Dutch pour portion of my painting on this too just to see how they would react uh, with, uh, it, to see if they would kind of keep the pearls from popping through a lot in the Dutch pour portion. And I think they turned out really well. Also, I laid a pigment down first. So I did two pigments and then I did a little bit heavier paint uh, that the, um, Amsterdam Sky Blue Light mixed with the Hammerhead is a little bit heavier. So I laid that on top. Um, and I feel like it kept the pearls from overtaking the Dutch pour portion because those pigments are very light. They kind of um, are the same density as the base paint. So you don't get an overtaking of pearls. So yeah, look, you guys, this is so pretty. I mean, I, I'm so excited about these pearls because if you did pearl paintings in 2019, you know that this is what the pearls used to look like previous to all of the, um, with the change with the Artist Loft soft body. The 2019 and earlier versions had such pretty results and it's been just a struggle since then. So, yeah, I'm so excited. So here we go. This is the dry results of the first painting. Those pearls really took over. Uh, the outlining of them, were, it just wasn't my favorite. Uh, and then see in the Dutch pour portion how fuzzy and yucky those that white part is. Which, I mean, it could be fixed, but I just, I really just was not a fan of how that turned out but I changed it in this one to the Titanium White by Liquitex and the pearls turned out so, so much better. They didn't overtake. I didn't get a ton of them in the Dutch pour portion. Again, I used pigments in this on the bottom to kind of keep it from getting overtaking. And then this was my little uh, tester with the blue uh, the, and the Prenite. And then this, I thought, okay, let's see what would happen with a nicer canvas. This is a level three canvas. And they turned out so good. And it didn't overtake my Dutch pour portion, which I'm happy about. The pearls look so nice. Um, and I try to show you how shiny and pretty these pigments are and this camera just does not do it justice that prey night and the waterfall together it's my favorite combo you guys it's so pretty and i am i'm such a fan of those two pigments together okay so amsterdam expert series was mixed in the base coat of this so it was one part of the amsterdam expert series indigo with the Vallejo pour, pouring medium and the flow trial, US flow trial, and it created gorgeous pearls. Another one I love, um, I was trying to show 
uh, it's kind of got a little bit of a shine to it because of that pearl medium. It, but not too much. It was just, it was pretty. This one, yuck. I mean, I just was not a fan. This is Artist Loft. Titanium white, just a regular titanium white. Again, it got those weird lines around the pearl section. I just wasn't a fan of how this one turned out. So I won't be using this one. If that's what you like, go for it. But it's not what I like. And so I won't be using that. So here we go, guys. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. And I am so excited about this new formula. Let me know what you think. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.